page 018. It say kitchen commissary at the bottom. Ciao. And it says they had a menu on the wall to see what we were having every day at Chow. Every day was different. But then I would go back and start over. Like Monday, most mornings we liquid eggs. But our favorite for breakfast was breakfast pizza. That's good, yo. It's regular pizza with scrambled eggs on top of it. I used to tear that up. I used to tear and get extra pieces and eat like two of their pieces of those. That was my favorite. Then they had starfish for lunch. That was the sharp shape. Oh, that was the shape of it. But it was well value. It was breaded like the cheap, nasty joints, but it was good in there. <laughs> that was the only day that you got green vegetables. <laughs> it came with starfish. It was stream beans that was it for green vegetables that time, and it only came once a week. It says dinner, they would have a uh, baked chicken, or roasted chicken, or uh, some he said Swedish or Swedish meatballs with gravy. Then they would have spaghetti, pizza, other vegetables throughout the week, or carrots, corn, mashed potatoes, and baked potatoes. Sometimes they used to have the little tuna in the cup. You'll pull off the top and it'll mix with mayonnaise in it already. We had tuna for lunch, so we got big ass trays and little tiny ass cups of tuna. Maybe like an apple or something with it. The CEOs don't give a fuck, so if there was extra, you could you could take it. He said the CEOs had their own food too. They used to have a cabinet with a lock on it. They had bread, salt, all types of condiments in there, plus cups, nine forks, but they used to lock it up. So we used to break into the cabinet, we used to pull out and steal mad bread out of it and butter, salt, pepper, all kinds of shit. One time the officers got a refrigerator only for the officers. They kept a lot on it and that's where they kept their lunches, their snacks. It had a freezer. It was a regular refrigerator. So we, so one night, you know how a school has substitute teachers sometimes. Sometimes they have substitute officers. Because of officers, it may, may be out of sick, maybe out sick or something like that. So they got some corny ass weird officers who didn't even know the ropes. So he fell asleep, the officer, and we broke into the refrigerator. We screwed sides of the things and we ate all the food, yo. We had egg waffles, we had ices, we had fucking deer. But uh, basically like what he was talking about in his book, or like the different foods you can eat in prison, Man, it's so much fat shit in prison that niggas be making. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas who be working in the kitchen and shit. You can work in the kitchen, you get around all that shit, man. You can make whatever, really. You know what I'm saying? And then it all depends on what type of prison you at. See, he had to be somewhere. If he went at Rockets, then he had to be in the feds or something. Talking about, like, some pizza and all that. Because you don't get that in, in what we at in Atlanta and Georgia. You don't get that in Georgia State Prison. They don't do all that. You What'd you get man? where you were at? Oh shit, they give you some bullshit. Like soy soy meat, shit like that. You ever ate that before? Never. Yeah, soy meat. Nigga never ate that before. You don't even know what the hell it is. <laughs> I never heard of it. <laughs> soy meat. <laughs> yeah, straight up, bro. It, that, that stuff down there nasty. So I used to eat like I used to make like cakes out of honey buns. Like I can make a cake out of honey buns, cinnamon roll. I need a rack of cookies, like some lemon cookies. I need um I need a pot tart and um I need a um pot tart and what else I need? Oh, I need a rice crib treat. And I can make you a cake. Put some icing on top of that thing, get some M and M, crunch it up, sprinkle the M and M's on top of that thing. Oh no, you playing. Nigga making real live burritos. <laughs> Nigga making burritos out of bread and uh nah word. Chopping up the bologna in. Bologna or whatever they give you them set lunches, like you might save all your set lunches. Like in Rice Street, 901 Rice Street in Atlanta, that's the county jail. 
Nigga used to make burritos and you know, everybody like, you might have a roommate, we might save up like four, five sack lunches, and they come with the cookies and all that, you know. Get the meat, you know what I'm saying? He, he didn't used to like to eat, like it was, they had some like nasty ass meat, man. But we used to just crunch the meat up in the bag. But you get that pickle out it out the stove, crunch the pickle up in the bag, put it like, get the bread, you gotta break the bread all the way down, like rub it in your hand until it break all the way down. And then you get water, you gotta have a trash bag, you put it in there, and you just, you know what I'm saying, mush it together and get it like a little bit moist. And then we had like a deodorant roller, where we used to roll it, you feel me, roll the bread out to get it scraped. Then you get a spoon, you cut down the sides of it to make sure it's even, you feel me? So when you roll it, it'll be even, you know what I'm saying? You even it out. So once you even that thing out, you load it up, man. Put the bologna in there, put the pickles in there, crunch up chips, put the chips in there, mayonnaise, mustard, put that in there. You feel me? Roll that thing up, you know what I'm saying? Roll it up in the tray bag, then you roll it up. Make sure the end's tight on both ends. Then, like, if you split it with somebody, you'll get a piece of tray bag and put it, like, in the middle and tie it real tight with it'll, 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 you know what I'm saying? It'll make, like, a little, sound like a little bogey, though, like a little subway, you know what I'm saying? Hero, like they were saying in New York, one of them heroes. It'll be, like, in the shape of one of them heroes. Man, that thing good. Put it on the shower. You got to hold, put it in the sock. And you put the thing down the sock, tear a hole in your sock, and then like the shower in the jail, it's, it ain't no regular shower that like in your house that come down. It's a shower like sit on a piece of metal. So it's like a little thing. And you put the sock up on there and you put a spoon right there in the thing to hold your sock up there while your food warm up. But like niggas got all type of ideas, man, you know, man. I know how to make all that shit though. I did five years now. Like chain gang nachos, that shit fine. Man, nigga making all the time. And then when I went to prison, oh, it just got even better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas went to boiling stuff because you got different tools. You got utensils. You can. I seen niggas boil, actually make a boiler, like a boiler out of a seasoned salt, bro, water, and like, like two metal pieces. You feel me? Hooked up to some, a wire, a cord that came off a radio or something. You know what I'm saying? And they'll have that hooked up in the wall for the socket. You know, like the plug that go in the socket had that. But they had like two pieces of wire, like pieces of metal hooked up to the end of it. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll pull like where you can see like the, 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 the strings of copper or whatever's inside the uh, wire. Hook it up to the metal, plug that in the wall. they get like a little, like a little foot pan. You know how you soak your feet in. One of them, how you have, they give you little foot pans. Put a two, three trash bags in there, put water inside the trash bag, and then put the thing, put season salt in there, put the thing in there, plug that up, put a trash bag or two on it. So when you put your food in there, it feel like it's inside the water, but it's really not inside the water because the water is outside the trash bag, like outside of the two or three layers of trash bag. It's inside of that. You feel me? Your food inside two, three layers of trash bag. So water boiling in this trash bag, your food cooking, it's just crazy, man. Like, it's different ways, like niggas making all type of shit in the game. But this is a good book though, to, you know what I'm saying? To just learn, or if you want to know something about what niggas do in chain gang, how they do pad time. This how they pad time, making food and, you know what I'm saying, getting tattoos and talking to people on the phone and working in the kitchen and doing, details and that's what niggas do in other past times so yeah i can go for this book like because he done been in prison he know what he talking about this is the difference between this book and this book he been going to prison he a street nigga he been in the streets he don't know nothing about the streets he only was in the streets because he got was messing with the rap and you know what i'm saying he was a young nigga when he got in the game he shot himself when he was 14 so let you know he wasn't like no street nigga Shout have been doing time, back and forth, you feel me, in and out. Shout is a real street nigga. That's why he got a better book. This book, this book, this book is better than this book, to me, my opinion. Hey, it is what it is, Lil Wayne, keeping it real. You mad?
That's what it is. Prodigy bought better. That's how I feel. Lot of seven. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't buy this. I buy this. You feel me? This official. This is not. This is some bull. This is the real. <laughs> nah, for real.